before we dive into this topic, I would like to put this out there. Education is beautiful. Education is a gift to the world. Yes, fam. And please, by all means, if you have the chance to, please get educated. This is Biggie's Baby TV and I'm glad to have each and every one of you on here. If you're new here, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so that you get notified every time we put out, out our posts about your favorite Big Brother Niger housemates and other hot entertainment gists all around Africa and the world at large. Indeed, I'm glad to have each and every one of you here and I don't take it for granted. By the way, how was your day? If your day didn't pan out as fine as you expected it to, please don't despair of life. Please don't lose hope fam. I beg you, don't lose hope. There's no need to because where there is life, there is hope and indeed tomorrow is going to be better so i believe that so no so many great things are in the offing for you so don't lose hope on yourself because i also am not losing hope on you now let's dive into what we have for today you know very recently the chorus was trolled i don't understand why people keep trolling this young lady and for the fact that she was trolled that also means that i will have to say something in that direction yeah during cross's interview during her and cross's interview at donny tv you know it was meant to be a fun thing actually it was fun i enjoyed their vibe i enjoyed how the you know how, how the kind of friendship they have going on and it was really beautiful to see that you no know, male and females could keep that kind of friendships respectfully though indeed a lot of fans i must say we are not comfortable with you know that discussion or with with cross is present because some people felt that okay cross was doing too much cross was being you know was plus like too much in licorice's life and it's still too much in licorice's life that's let's leave it to that however one part that really got them especially the trolls or that made people begin to troll licorice was when she said when they made mention of like the intelligent people in the house and earrings was made mention of some other people we had talked about and then Emmanuel was like not this not not called his name was not called oh some of Emmanuel's fans who also seem to be fans of Licorice I wouldn't want to call them fans of Licorice who just you know talk about Licorice or mention Licorice because Emmanuel is involved they got very angry on that, about that and someone had the temerity to you know call Licorice a school dropout and the person was inferring that Likoros said the manner was not smart simply because she didn't mention his name when she made mention of the intelligent people in the house. Now the question that was asked was like what's the biggest organ in the body and someone said they asked if the liver was the biggest organ in the body and did he mention Imano? because Imano obviously was not it's not like a core science student like a biology student or something so hearing was made mention of because he's a doctor and you know he's also widely read there are some other people who did something similar and all of that and I, like I said before, a lot of people we are incensed against liquors, especially those who like, you know, these guys under, you know, being fans and came to, and I don't even understand why they had to do that. Any which ways, the issue of her not being, not being a graduate, you know, popped up. Now, here's the thing. Liquors is a very driven young lady. And it's important to not put it out here. This young lady got into the university. Yes, a college of higher learning and all of that and to study Christian religious studies but the thing is that she had to leave school she dropped out of school owing to financial constraints and this is very common amongst people that don't come from privileged backgrounds now some of you may argue that oh yes I came from I'm not necessarily from a wealthy home but I finished school but you know these different strokes for different people yes not all fingers are equal and this is the reality of life I must let you in on this fact fam a lot of people shocked me with what they said on that day or in reaction to Likoros's you know statement now first and foremost Likoros did was not direct about us calling Emmanuel you know dumb or maybe unintelligent or something she simply didn't mention his name and these guys took offense now the problem is why would people who claim to be Likoros's fans take offense as such you know an omission indeed it you know unmasks them as you know fake fans people that just you know wolves in sheep's clothing that have been waiting to just for the proper time to attack her and all of that now this brings me to the crux of the matter and we're talking about education like i said in the beginning part of this clip it is very important to get educated especially for women i advocate for women literacy and not just women literacy general literacy of the boy and the girl child however it is important to note that education is a weapon yes but education is not all there is to life this is the truth 
to a lot of educated people who are not necessarily intelligent in real life. And this is not me dissing anybody or calling out anybody because as a matter of fact, I'm educated. I have a degree, I have a university degree and all of that. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't necessarily trans- mean that anyone who's educated would be wealthy, would be successful and all of that. Now we're talking about streetwiseness. This is something that education may not necessarily give. And it's an ingredient that's very important for success in the real life situations. And I must tell you the truth. A lot of educated people skip on that. Yeah, they know it, they they know life by the books, which is very important too. But they don't know life in real, you know, like in real time. And this is where many of them miss it out. They get entitled and all of that. But we have seen a young lady like Lika Rose, who didn't finish school, one who didn't come from a blessed background. She has risen through the ranks. One beautiful thing about this young lady is that she got into the house carrying no airs at all. The fact is that she was already doing very well before she got into the house but she wanted more out of life and that is why she was quick to tell Biggie that any money she had she used it to upgrade her life, that she wanted financial stability and she didn't hide it. I am really so proud of Lee Corrales. You know one thing that any Tracy or lack of you know not having a degree can do to somebody, it kind of injects a low self esteem in that person and that is why I was not shocked where Lee Corrales got into the house and for some other at a point she was calm and all of that because you know when you're amongst graduates sometimes they try to like you know carry airs trying to put in their knowledge into everything they discuss and try to like unintentionally like intimidate people let me use that word even when they don't in- intend to intimidate people the people that didn't graduate or finish school you know feel intimidated somewhat but Lee Corrales did not necessarily project that lack of a lo- or low self-esteem or you know inadequacy she didn't tell people about educational background we know but still she felt confident in herself and that's one thing I really admire the young lady for you know she tried to project the best part of her and that is what everything everyone needs to learn how to project you know the best part of you some people are not educated but they are skilled and Likoros did just that she told us that okay I mean she in, in, in her actions through her actions rather she proved to us that you can you don't, don't necessarily need to be educated or have a degree to go past you know people's expectations or to reach a certain level in life Look at it. She was the last woman standing. Look at it. She won most of the of the of the quizzes and the puzzles that we are given that needed intelligent answers and responses. And yet, some people called her out for not being educated. The educated ones didn't do all of that. This is the truth. The most important thing in this life is to be comfortable in your own skin. I'm telling you because there will always be like situations that want to make you, you know question yourself and you know feel low. But Likos never allowed all of that, and she has come out from the big brother niger house and here is the thing she was one of the housemates first housemates to travel abroad via a company a company a company sorry sponsored her a movement to south africa a trip to south africa where she was there and had fun now i'm talking about the play management they took her to south africa and they signed the deal right there in south africa an international deal Lika Rose has done so much. Now let me call, let me mention some of the brands that she influences for. Apart from being a sign on, a signee to like the talent under play management, she's been signed on to the Shapeables. She was signed on to, you know, Jay's find out very recently. She's been signed on to Monkey Shoulders. She's been signed on to Kuda Bank. She's been signed on to so many. I can count up to ten or thereabouts or even more. I'm talking about units and anyone I forget here, please forgive me. I'm only a human being, you know. I'm an educated human being. <laughs> <laughs> for some of you who want to call me an illiterate too, forgive me. Just help me remind me in the comment section, you know, the chorus's achievements. There are several achievements. She's bought a car over 23 million naira and a so-called illiterate, a so-called college dropout. Now tell me, a lot of us on the snow that, you know, it's not just about leaving the university anymore, being a graduate. It's about finding a job or doing something meaningful with life after the university. And I can tell you that a lot of people are having, you know, challenges in that in that regard. But this young lady has jumped past that. Now, it's I, I said it before, it's beautiful to go to school. But what happens after or thereafter? The chorus indeed has proven to us that, you know, when life throws you lemons, you make lemonade out of them. She didn't go to school, but see what she has done. She didn't go to school, but she gives us on the most brilliant, I'm talking about intelligent answers. Don't forget that even when she left school, she went to teach in the primary school. So she was that brilliant. So I, 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 I don't find it funny when I hear such things or when I even get to think of it. And that's when I started the discussion. She has 
God is going to the house she has come out and I can tell you that she's way more successful than most of the graduates that entered the Big Brother Niger house in fact in the history of Big Brother Niger house Nicole Rose is one of the most successful women I'm not just women I'm talking about housemates who have ever come out of the house yeah the others that have done so but Nicole Rose is surely one of the most successful this is Biggie's Baby TV I want to like engage you guys in the comment section don't forget to like share comment subscribe and turn on your post notification bell until our next post fam stay blessed productive and please keep showing love yeah don't discriminate every everybody's equal before god god bless you fam and if lovely chorus let's get this to at least 200 likes peace out